One, two, one, two. Can you hear me at the back? Right, where were we, eh? Last time on the veil, our fat bastard protagonist Tony were forced on a shit ass shooting trip by his building site lackey stepdad beaten on the same Saturday as his fucking dress up party. It just so happened that Tony fell for the college new girl, Kate. You know the one. Stands for knocker's ass at a tight end. Anyway, this was much to the knowledge and mirth of his mates, Tim and Deacon. Tony and Kate's honest as fuck relationship wasn't helped by the fact that A, Kate had a boyfriend, Richie, the tongue, and his little toxic mucker, Greg. B, Kate were going to the same party as Tony. And C, Tony's mate, Tim, now had a spare ticket and gave it to Kate. At this point, Tony decides to shoot to kill and pop his stepfather beaten while hunting. Meanwhile, on the building site... Oh, oh, by the way, I knew a fellow who went for a job at a building site. The foreman asked him, Can you drive a forklift? He said, Aye. Foreman said, Can you make tea? He said, Fuck me, how big's this fucking teapot? <coughs> anyway, Beaton and his two muckers, Jock and Alan, have a partner of the waves due to Alan's Tom fuckery. Getting caught claiming the Benny while grafting. Well, you have to, don't you? The site foreman, Blethin, you know, the bloke with the chaotic arsehole, got Alan sacked. Alan, the poor bastard, had to turn to light ale. The fucking embarrassment. So, Saturday comes and Tim and Kate are having a great fucking time. Tony, however, is stuck with the old cunts and mulling over how he can pop beaten in the interim. And then Phil White appears with a blind child. Jock goes dry and tears up the hidden fucking forest. And Alan blows bled into a lake. Tony grazes beat with his fucking air rifle. And both agree to stop being cunts. Ah well, I think that'll do. So join us all soon for season two of The Veil. You fucking cunt.